Hey guys, that looks cute. So today um, I'm going to be going out to brunch with my husband and so I wanted to show you like a fun brunch, like easy morning look. And we thought it would be super fun because we are, um, Mitsubishi lent us one of their cars and you're going to have to see it, it's amazing. This one's going to be more of a talk with me kind of thing, so I'm going to walk you through all the steps. So as you can see in my hair, I've got these um, strawberry foam cur uh, rollers. So they work just as like rollers, but they're just cute. <laughs> um, and I just do the front of it so that way it gives my hair a little more texture. Um, and the first thing I always use without a doubt is my Kate Somerville Eczema um therapy cream i don't know if you could tell but right around here i have like really bad eczema in my eyes especially when i get stressed out or whatnot i usually get it around my nose as well but this is great for your face or your body so i just put that all over my eye areas and then i'm going to be using the lush magical moringa and this is a really cool um face moisturizer it's like so super thick can you see that how thick it is oops um but it works really nicely because it has cornstarch in it it has like this a silky feel and it really helps my makeup stay on all day which is really nice i'm going to start off with the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream i love this stuff i love that it's also 50 um spf which is really nice so i just spot this all over my face And then I use my IT Cosmetics brush and I just buff that in. It gives like the best coverage. Um, it's definitely medium to medium full, but it stays on all day, has SPF 50, it feels amazing, and it is amazing. The, the next thing I'm going to use is the IT Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eye. And this is a really great under eye concealer. As you can see, my under eyes are hot mess. Um, they're puffy and dark. So this is really, really nice. Um, it has collagen, uh, vitamin C, and you need literally the smallest dot to cover underneath your eyes. It's like the teeny tiniest amount you need for both under eyes. And I just use the warmth of my finger to kind of tap it all in. I go in with my Kevin Aquan. This is a cream um, contour and uh, highlight. So I take the cream here. It's really nice. And then I put it right where I would contour. That looks cute. And then I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush again. I'm just going to buff it out. And it gives the perfect contour. Place it on top where the highlight is. And this gives me like, I like to put this underneath my powder because it gives like a glow from within kind of look, which I really love. And I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and I'm going to use this to kind of set it all down. I'm going to use this fantastic palette. This is the Lancome Audacity palette. It is seriously one of the most beautiful palettes I have used in a long time. Um, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna prime my lids, and this is the Jessie Girl eyeshadow primer, and I got this at Gen Beauty, and I kind of like it. I thought I wasn't gonna like it because I'm pretty picky when it comes to products, but it's pretty nice actually. This is the day look. I'm gonna use this like pretty shimmery color. I'm just gonna place that all over my lid, and this is the Lancome brush that it comes with. gonna give me a fun little shimmery pop and then I'm gonna go in with the purpley color we're just gonna place that on the outer half I love how beautiful and subtle these colors are but they could be really dramatic too and this brush is really nice and then I'm gonna use the other side of the brush to just kind of buff it out 
Then I'm gonna go in with my Lancome Art Liner. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite liners of all time. And then I'm gonna do my brows, and I've been really loving this It Cosmetics. Um, it's their new Brow Power Super Skinny Eyebrow Pencil. Oh, it's so good. I love how precise you can get it. And it just, it literally looks like your hairs, which is really, really nice. They have so many different color options. And usually I hate like coloring my brows at the very inner section here because I feel like it makes me look like a man. But when I do it with this, it doesn't look so harsh. So it looks really nice and natural. So I've been really loving this product. And it's just waxy enough that it stays on your brows like all day without like getting clumpy or anything, which some of my other ones do. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara. I have like, this is the only one I use. And this is the Lancome Hypnos um, Drama. Next up, I'm going to use my blush. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. I love this palette. It just gives you so many options. It's so pretty. I'm going to go in with my bobby brush and just kind of mix them because I like that color better. Ooh, do you see that, like, glow? I'm just going to place that on my cheeks. And then on my lips, I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics um, Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Pasadena. I really love this formula of lipsticks. I think that this serves just like the liquid lipsticks like that are on the market right now, except this is more of a moussey texture, and it doesn't fully dry down like the other ones, so it's way more moisturizing. My husband is packing and moving, and that's why you're hearing all those sounds, so I apologize. So it doesn't really make your lips feel super dry because mine are always really, really dry. And so that's pretty much done. That's what my face is gonna look like. And this just served to just give me a little bit of texture in my hair for when I actually style it. And then I'm gonna go in with my um, Aveda Smooth Infusion. This is like a style prep smoother and it defends your hair against humidity. So I need that. And now I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'll see you guys later. So this week we are in the Mitsubishi Mirage. As you've seen, it's this bright purple slash pinkish car, which is super fun. Um, everything in the car is pretty standard. We decided to name her Hello Kitty because Hello Kitty. she's cute and pink. Um, it is a super duper adorable compact car. And um, if you're looking for like a small car that can fit into tight spaces, so if you live in a place like New York City where spaces are limited, ooh, this is the car for you. The one thing is that because it's a small car, it's quite light, so you will feel all those bumps. And Felix and I aren't quite used to that because we're used to like bigger cars that are a little bit heavier. So anytime you do go over speed bumps and whatnot, you do feel it. And it has a surprising amount of room in this car. It can fit like another three people in the back. The trunk actually has a ton of room. Yes. So it is quite spacious for the size that it looks like, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so Felix had said, like, if this, if you are looking for a good starter car, this is a really good one because it's not too expensive and it looks cute and I think you get your, a really good bang for your buck. It's like your, your regular standard compact car, but mm. it's super duper cute. Yeah. I just love that it's like pink. Go Hello Kitty, go! 